I'm Dr. Michelle LeClaire O'Neill, and this is a tape of Better Birthing with Hypnosis, Mindful Pregnancy, and Easy Labor with the LeClaire Method. Sit back and relax, and we'll explain everything to you one step at a time. Yeah, I'm that's really good. really interested in hypnobirthing anyway. My doula does that as well, so. Yeah, she took the class, the yeah, training class. Yeah, she took the class. Yeah, so when I heard about this, it was just really um, lucky. So we're happy. Very light effleurage massage. So when, if you're at home when you go into labor, and if the father happens to be there, this is a good thing to do, just to begin. Just, and you go across the whole face. Very gentle. My hands are cold. I'm sorry. It's okay. Mr. Okay. okay. You just very gently. It's not a deep massage, and then just go, just so that you know, let people know that the person know that you're present, and it also helps to stimulate the immune system. Somebody during labor, you know, like during transition, and we'll talk about this later. If you rub a mother like this, you can literally rub them the wrong way because if you rub against the way the hairs are growing it can send a message up the, up the spinal cord to the brain as an irritant. Mm -hmm. so. mantra I usually because usually I have people from many different um, cultures and religions um, so the Christian mantra is ma ra na fa m a r a you choose any one of these though the universal one is pacha ma that's really peace in Latin with ma on the end of it so what you do is um, you just sit there with your spine erect now you can always lie flat on the floor, but when you're pregnant, it's better to lie on your left side. Um, but the idea is to keep your spine straight. You can take your shoes off if you want, never stopping saying the mantra over and over and over. And you'll find that you can attain a deep, deep state of peace. It's really an incredible peace. Um, and that's all. That's, it's as simple as that. Just say it over and over and over. We'll do it for 10 minutes. Ideally, you should meditate for 20 minutes twice a day. If you and become aware of your abdomen now and all of its contents and put your hands on your belly and fathers you can put your hands on your bellies too and just mothers talk to your babies and fathers just send a message to your baby. Just explain to the baby what we're doing here today the purpose of it. And now go to your shoulders and contract your shoulders and release them. And then your arms, contract your upper arm, your lower arm, your hands and your fingers and make fists and then extend them. Spread your fingers as wide apart as you can. And relax your arms, relax your hands. Now just do it all together and feel where it resonates in your body. Yeah. This really helps to relax you. It will help you to relax your cervix. It will help you to really relax your entire body during labor. I'm going to go around and I'm going to come around with the scent 
And every time you smell the scent, it will help to deepen your relaxation and your peace and your serenity. And I'll, you can just get it in any store, I can tell you. It's actually a baby cream. You go deeper and deeper. Smell it. You can put anything there, it's your place. You can put a bed, you can put down pillows, you can put a hammock, anything you want. If you would like to walk down a real sturdy wooden staircase outside that leads to your healing place, if that makes it easier for you, you can do that. So we'll begin now. Ten, and down, and deeper, and deeper, and down. Deeper and deeper and down. Five. Letting go even more. And I'll come around and touch your shoulder again to put you even deeper. You're able to think clearly. You're able to drive safely and carefully if you need to. You're able to get on with your day in a calm, serene, centered. Eighty percent of women experience postpartum blues for the first two weeks. Crying, maybe just feeling sad, sleeplessness. Well, of course the baby keeps you up during the night. And 